a very good morning students and this is our regular lecture and in our today's class i will try to cover the mclaren rules direction of dip and sequence of outcrop and the factors that causes the repetition of outcrop and for all these three headings i refer the book the chip longer and the lahe so let's get into the heading the first heading is the mclaren rule actually this rule governs the relation between the width of the outcrop and the true thickness of the strata okay so if you know the width of the outcrops by using the mclaren's rule you can simply calculate the true thickness and remember this rule will be uh, only for the low dipping angle say less than 30 degree or something okay so according to this rule for every 5 degree of the dip the true thickness of the strata is 1/12th of the width of their outcrop and remember the width measurement should be right angle to the strike direction okay so this is what the rule is that is for every 5 degree of the dip that is increase or decrease in the dip the true thickness of the strata will be the 1/12th of the width of their outcrop so you should know the dip amount then also you should know the width of the outcrop and that should be measured at the right angle to the strike so if you know these two things by simply applying the mclaren's rule you can calculate the true thickness of the strata they had given an example that the width of the outcrop is 600 meter and the dip of the formation is 10 degree okay as it is only for the low dipping angle they are considering 10 degree so according to the rule they just simply applying as t is equal to 1 by 12 into w into d by 5 where w is the width of the outcrop and d will be the dip of the formation so the true thickness will be equal to 600 into uh, 600 is the width and uh, dip is 10 where uh, there is 5 in the denominator as well as 12 in the denominator they combine together and form it as 60 so 600 into 10 into 60 so the answer is 100 meter so just by knowing the width of the outcrop and dip of the formation and applying the mclaren's rule you can calculate the true thickness without using any of the trigonometric thing that we had mentioned in our eighth class okay is that clear so the mclaren rules deals with the relation between width of the outcrop and true thickness uh, probably this question may come in two mark question or sometimes even five mark questions and the next heading is the direction of dip and the sequence of the outcrop okay actually there is a relation between the dip direction and sequence say for example when you are surveying in a sedimentary terrain and many of the time you will come across uh, different types of rock formation but the thing is that you have to find out which one is younger and which one is older okay and that will be a very big dif difficulty when you are handling that is when you are in, in a field and for such a thing they had given a uh, generalized uh, outline that we are going to see today that the relation between the dip direction and the ground slope and the sequence of the outcrop so what they are generally saying is that as a general principle it can be stated that while crossing an outcrop of series of strata and the on the direction of dip so when we are crossing a set of rock formations in the dip direction we will come across younger beds when the ground slope is lesser than the dip you got it so you are moving in the dip direction and the ground slope is lesser than the dip direct dip amount then we will successively what we are coming is the younger formation so to explain this i have created few images that you can see so these are the two set of rock formations the first one is uh, say uh, gentle dipping and second one is steep dipping okay and remember this one the bottom one will be the older formation and the top one is the younger formation right there is no any doubt in this right you can see the dip of the formation and let this line be the ground slope so in the first case what you will see is the in this case what happens the dip is less than the slope okay the dip is like this say somewhat 10 to 15 and the slope is more than that right you can see this come by seeing and comparing right and in this case what happens dip is greater than slope remember when you are saying dip is greater than slope what you will come across is singular sequence right when this rock formations are eroded what you will see 
and when you are moving so this will be the dip direction right the both the bits are dipping in your left side so when you are moving from here to here you can see this is the oldest then followed by younger then followed by youngest that is what we had mentioned here right when the ground slope is lesser than the dip the ground slope is less than the dip so what happens you are moving towards the younger sequence or what when you are whatever your rock you are seeing that will be successively younger is that clear with this that is what they had stated here and in this case what happened when the slope is greater than dip so the dip is lesser and slope is greater so earlier you are in younger sequence then quite older than the oldest formation so you got an idea right so when you are moving in a surface when you are surveying a sedimentary formation you should remember this rule that when the slope is greater than the dip and you have to move in the dip direction remember that not against the dip direction okay the slope is greater than the dip you will come successively come across older formation and when the dip is greater than the slope you will come across the younger formation okay is that clear okay if you still have any doubt you can just ask me in the class and the next heading is the repetition of outcrop okay so at some places when we traverse we find that some type of or some rock type may occur again and again and such a condition is called as the repetition of outcrop okay and this repetition can be caused by the three factors okay the very first thing is the erosion and dissection of the ground okay so when the rocks are say horizontal or literally dipping what happens the hard rock will stay harder and the soft rock will move very easily right so if the sequence consists of uh, harder to softer that is the topmost that is the younger rock is quite harder and the bottommost is softer what happens the erosion trend will be like this that there will be a repetition and uh, not only that due to the folding also the repetition may takes place but remember the repetition of outcrop due to folding is like symmetrical type and the third one is the fault and also due to faulting the rock will repeat again and again and such a repetition will be cyclic so probably may not be clear with this heading right i am just i will explain you this in a image that you can see the first one shows the repetition of outcrop due to erosion so consider this is a low dipping rock say a b c d okay and the rock strength is different from top to bottom that is some rocks are harder and stay for a long time and some rocks are softer and got eroded out easily and when you are traversing say like here to here or here to here what you will see is there is a c bed followed by d then e and once again there is d then c then there is a b bed followed by one second c then d so such a repetition occurs c d e d c b something like that so a same but say consider d here appearing then d then also d like that so this type of repetition is caused due to the erosion is that clear so erosion can leads to repetition of outcrop when there is a uh, difference in the rock strength the second case what we talked about is the folding okay so let this be the fold okay and there is a formation 1 then followed by 2 then 3 then there is a fourth one and fifth one there are five formations roughly okay so when you are traversing from here consider it as a then b then c then d and what happens again then d then c then b and a is missing somewhere it may appear when we move further okay so what you can see is this look like a mirror plane right you might have studied in your crystallography the symmetrical plane so this repetition is symmetrical like when you are moving from the axial plane towards left there is d then c then b the same way in the axial plane if you are moving towards right the same occurs that is d sorry that is d then c then b okay so this type of repetition is called the symmetrical repetition and only you can see such a repetition in a folded bed is that clear so folding leads to the repetition of outcrop and that repetition is called symmetrical repetition and there is also a very big image in, in below that you can see if you are clear with this you can also proceed this and the third cause is the faulting okay so what happens these beds were parallel on ones and due to faulting what happens these beds were shifted 
so let us consider this white one then black one and gray one okay if you see here there is a say let us this be a b c and d then again a b c and d then again a b c and d so it looks like cycle right when uh, you are seeing something from 1 then followed by 2 then 3 then 4 one second you have to come to 1 so this type of repetition is called a cyclic repetition and this is a direct indicator of a presence of fault in some location is that clear so what we have seen in today's class is the three things the first thing is the McLaren's rule in which the relation between the width of the outcrop and true thickness has been mentioned with a given formula that you can calculate and the second thing what we are seeing is the direction of dip and sequence of outcrop so when you are moving in a dip direction and according to the slope angle and dip angle when the slope is higher what happens you will cons consequently you are seeing the older formation when the dip is more then what you are seeing is the younger formation that is what you have seen in the next one and the third is the repetition of outcrop and there are the three factors the first one is the erosion erosion leads to repetition of outcrop then folding leads to the symmetrical type of repetition of outcrops and third one is the faulting that leads to the cyclic type of repetition of outcrop is that clear so if you got clear then no problem if you still have any doubt just mention mark it out and while meeting me in the zoom just ask me the questions thank you